Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use a rows function in Excel. A rows function is useful when you have an array and you need to identify the number of rows between that array. So let me show you how this works. I type rows and you can see it takes an argument which is an array. I type a1 is to a1 and I hit control enter and you can see this returns 1 because the number of rows between a1 and a1 is just 1. Let me show you how this works if uh, I have a different array if I type a1 is to a4 I'm manually typing it you can also use your mouse to select the range and I hit control enter and this gives me 4 because the number of rows between A1 and A4 are 4. Here is an interesting use of rows function. If I have something like this, so I type in manually uh, curly bracket 1, comma 2, comma 3, semicolon 4, comma 5, comma 6. This would give me the number as 2. Now you may think why would I have to manually type this there might not be any situation where I need to use this and type this manually uh, but there might be cases when you are using a formula and it returns you an array something like this and you would know that it would return 2 because a comma in Excel formula represents a column while a semicolon represents a row. So in this case it would consider this array as 1, 2 and 3 in one row and 4, 5, 6 in another row and since there are two rows involved in this array it returns 2. Now let me show you a very interesting way to use a rows function. I type rows and I type a1 is to a1. We know it would give us 1 but I go and I lock uh, the first cell reference, the first A1. So I hit F4 to lock this. And now when I hit tab, this gives me 1. And when I drag it down, it gives me 2. When I drag it down further, it gives me 3. It's happening because I have logged this A1. But this, the second cell reference is free to change. So when I drag it down, it becomes A2 from A1. And further, it becomes A3 and A4. So this is a good trick when you have a formula or when you want a situation where uh, you, you want this to get incremented by 1 every time you uh, pull down the cell uh, below it. So it would increment this number by 1 as you drag this. So this is how a row function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Uh, thank you and have a nice day.